what's going on in the rest of the state. It's just like here. Great picket lines in Santa Rosa, Modesto, San Diego, three TV stations, LA TV stations, three TV stations in Sacramento. In San Jose as we speak, two TV stations are broadcasting live. It's going great throughout the state. The press has just been tremendous and is only to get better. That's one of the reasons why we're doing this, to shed light on this staffing crisis that exists in Kaiser. Health workers in San Diego are joining what's being called the nation's largest ever strike of mental health workers. Yeah, these workers and patients are making their voices heard. You can see right behind me, there are people picketing with signs and chanting. Their grievance, they say they're understaffed. They say patients are not getting the adequate and timely care they need. Morning. We're talking to Jim Clifford. He's been with the Kaiser Permanente here for 13 years, a psychiatric therapist. And Jim, you are saying that patient care Care is suffering. Yes, we've been very concerned. Uh, this has been going on for several years. Patients have to wait uh, a month, typically, or more for a return appointment. And tomorrow, more than 2,000 Kaiser workers are set to walk off the job. This is part of a statewide strike. Happening today, hundreds of mental health workers have launched a week long strike at Kaiser Permanente Hospitals. More than two dozen staff members at Kaiser Permanente in Bakersfield are joining the picket lines across the state. During this week of action, thousands of health care workers will hold 65 picket lines at 35 Kaiser Permanente locations. If I, I can get you an appointment in eight days, but I can't see you again in four weeks. That's right. right. So there's access to no care. No, we're taking on a corporate giant, but we're doing what's right. And as long as we don't give up, we're going to win. Yeah. 400,000 new members coming on board through the Affordable Care Act. We're very, very concerned that these members are not going to be able to be receiving uh, quality patient care uh, due to long waiting time and uh, short staffing. We had a good day today. We must have had upwards of 100 people if you count them all up. That we're here for this. So it's been a good day.
standing united with NUHW and CNA. We've got to stand strong. We've got to stand together. Not only do we have the station, we have the engineers that are here from South Sac, we also have our nurses from CNA that are here to support us. They hate it when we're out here talking to the patients. So we are going to win this if we just all stick together, okay? Let's do this! Brothers and our sisters, many far off lands, there is power in our union. for a second time to honor the public trust. If the DMHC considers Kaiser too big to fail, as Covered California seems to have done, then Kaiser can continue to consider these patients' needs too small to count. For the system to change, the DMHC must finish what they started. 2,600 therapists left their Kaiser therapy offices for the whole last week to pass that single message on to the DMHC. This job is not done. People are still suffering. Finish what you started. Most of all, I want to thank the heroes 
of this fight. And that's all of you. As mental health clinicians, we have an ethical responsibility to advocate for our patients and to reform Kaiser's harmful policies. By going on strike, we are standing up for our patients and demanding that Kaiser officials stop burying their heads in the sand and start owning up to the harmful effects of their short-sighted, profit-first mentality. Some people uh, thought that we would never be organized enough to unionize in 2000. We did it. Some people thought we would never be strong enough to decertify from SEIU, and we did that. Some people thought we could never sort through the complexity of the mental health service, mo service model in order to mount a convincing argument to the state about the seriousness of the problems in mental health service delivery at Kaiser, and we did that. Some people thought we could never find enough agreement in our ranks to authorize even a one-day strike of all our mental health workers, and we did that. Some people thought we could never get everyone to agree to an escalated five-day action, and we did that true in truly remarkable fashion. Some people thought that nobody would pay attention to a small unit of mental health workers at Kaiser, but the result of your action this week was 800 media outlets throughout the country that have covered this strike. Kaiser, the whole world is watching. No more. Suicides. No more. Suicides. No more. Suicides. No more.